Hi, it's JK here, and uh, I'm on a farm with Doug, but exactly where are we, Doug? Uh, we're in southeast Marlborough, um, 35 minutes uh, southeast of Blenheim, the driest place in New Zealand, basically. Now, Doug and I have got a lot in common, and uh, what I wanted to start talking to you about today, Doug, was your journey with depression. Uh, yeah, it um, started off in life feeling uh, pretty, pretty flash about myself, but uh, when I got to about 40, I uh, dived into the uh, dark pit. We had eight years of drought. No matter what I did on the farm, it was unsuccessful. And I had um, no, no idea of how I could help. How did you know that you were falling into depression? I didn't know that I suffered from depression. I just knew that I'd gone from being a, um, a person who was uh, popular and happy to a person who was angry and bitter. How do you um, reach out for help? Um, in my case, help reached out to me uh, in the form of a, um, a young uh, sales rep and he uh, invited me to uh, attend a field day in North Canterbury. And uh, a guy called Dr. Derek Moot is talking on Lucin. Within five minutes of that man opening his mouth, I was asking people for a pen and paper and feverishly writing down stuff. We got home quite late and I went onto the computer to try to figure out how we could get it to go. And my wife came out and said, what the hell are you doing? And I said to her, I'm starting a new dream. It starts tonight here. Hope. Hope. I could see that there was a, an opportunity to do something, but I guess it came down to I finally accepted that I needed to change. So what sort of help did you seek? Um, I had a, a very good friend uh, close by here and him and I were both feeling the stress, but he was a person that I could talk to and we sometimes used to get together and sit on a hill and share our, um, our, our, our feelings a bit. What was softening from your point of view? Softening for me was accepting help, inviting other people to rejoin my life. When I softened my attitude and softened my arteries, um, my whole life started to function again. I sought people who uh, came and helped us right across the spectrum of my life, really, um, primarily in farming. That was the bit that had been too tough for me to take. I employ a mentor to keep me thinking straight and um, I employ people into my life all the time. I'm terrified of the isolated place that I went to in the past. So I'm now really a collaborator. You'll never find me working independently again. I, I love the culture of the business that we've grown. So how do you stay well now? Um, I keep myself involved in a lot of different activities off farm and uh, I keep myself fit, reasonably fit. I um, go on patches, but uh, bought a bike and uh, I ride every day. It became hugely important in my life to have uh, other things that are not agricultural based. Uh, so yeah, I, I engage in all sorts of different things. The squash club, the sailing club. There's a few farmers in there, but there's mostly other people from other walks of life, so it works. So what would you say to uh, someone who was feeling like you were feeling? Um, get help. Accept that you possibly have got a, a problem. Read the stuff on the depression.org website. Other people can't wait to help you, but they need to understand that you are seeking help. So seek help is the bottom line. Doug is getting through depression. I've got through depression. And the journal is the way that I can help you. It's really simple. It'll give you a practical lesson on how to get better. Take a look. It's for you.